too much party for one night. Ladies, wake up, let's retire to the bedroom now. Ow. Oh, please don't discover that to look it for my food. Truth be told, Audrey, if you ask me, I don't think you should invest in this business. 50 million naira is a huge sum of money to risk in this recent economic downturn. Well, honestly. <clears throat> I don't like talking about my dreams and my nightmares because I am very, very particular about its possibilities. But Audrey, darling, this is my advice. Why not save up the 50 million Naira for our next, you know, spinster party for a business class ticket to Paris, darling? I swear, I am so going to pray for you. Like, Amen. I will pray for you Amen. if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's more than what time. Pray for me. Since when do they have prayer rooms in the club? Shh, joke. Uh, listen, ladies. I don't see anything wrong in me trying to increase my entrepreneurship ideas. Besides, I never get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just being optimistic. Oh, That's you're all right. Erica. Maybe you should try talking to God. Or you can try to talk to me, Baba. Huh? So you still believe in that? You are with Hey, stop. Just give me a sec before you start confessing all the sins of your ancestors. <laughs> Girls have got good news. Oh, uh -huh. really? So, let me guess. Mm, the son of the richest man in Africa asked you out on a date? <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> your boss finally noticed that you don't wear panties to work. <laughs> she doesn't! <laughs> I thought entrepreneurs are supposed to be smart here. Whatever. Wait, wait, wait. Did you actually let him screw you in his cruise ship? Ooh! Are you so clown? How he left you feeling brand Stop being stupid, please. You guys should just stop! <laughs> I I finally got a man to pay for four VVIP tickets to the most anticipated comedy show of the year. Oh my god, I'm excited! I was in the That's like five million naira! Hey, ain't we what's the price? Yes, we that are. we are! Uh, that we are! Poor yes, boy, are. darling, you are going to milk him dry. <laughs> what else is money meant for if not spending? I concur. We are so girl. going to turn up, darling. Every day is going to be like Chris. Ma <laughs> we are here to have fun. Uh -huh. Let's have it to the public. My girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All these wizard boyfriends. That's because you give them the chance. You encourage them to toss you around. Man, they are all the same. Yeah. If you pick the call now, they'll be like, they'll be preaching. Ah, ah, sir. <laughs> they should wait. We'll call them when we need them. Oh, exactly. Oh, eat vice versa. Oh. Ladies, let's eat on. <laughs> A glass of wine to cool your brains, darling. <sighs> Thank you so much, then. You're welcome. So how is it going? Oh, well, I'm still scouting options and where to invest my 50 millionaire before your prayers come to pass. <laughs> and what are your options? Um, well, I'm thinking of dividing the money into two. Okay. Um, investing half of it in my current fashion business, mm -hmm. hereby boosting production mm -hmm. due to the increase in African prints. True. Then I'm also thinking about um, doing like a small scale business with the other half, like hmm. open an e tree or a finger licking restaurant. Or a strip club. No way. <laughs> Jesus is coming soon. Oh. And I won't be caught counting money when he comes. Prophet Audrey. Whatever. <laughs> 
anyways, I was thinking, why not invest the 25 million naira into real estate? You know, properties never depreciate. And the remaining 25 million, let's say you invested in your African print business, the fashion business, I think that'll work. What do you think? Hmm. That's a good idea. Hmm. Fifi from you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Anyways, um, I just called um, Erica and Beverly. They'll be meeting us at the club. Tonight is Tango, it's Friday, and they'll be driving direct from their office to the nightclub. Isn't that too early? No, it's not early, please. Or else Erica will come here and she'll be complaining that she'll be too busy and she can't go out. We have to go meet them. <laughs> Fifi, mm -hmm. you too like enjoyment. Mm -hmm. sound about? I had to improvise. Improvise? With what? Why all the questions? What is it? Because I'm stuck too. You're stuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you went home with your puppy last night. Yeah. What, you didn't have enough? Hmm. Ah, Audrey. Hmm. <laughs> Let me bust your bubble. The puppy finally realized that he has a heart. Darling, every puppy and bingo in town has a heart. Hmm. Come on now. Andy is in love. Love? Mm -hmm. Fifi, I'm serious. I know you are. But love is just a waste of time. Please. <laughs> Where's that bodiless man? Man, I need that stuff. Oh, 
Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Is he around? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You surprised me. Look, I am I'm very surprised at the fact that I'm taking this Audrey case very serious. As far as I'm concerned, you should just go with the flow, just like I'm doing. Dave, Beverly keeps your attention, okay, so you cannot compare your case with mine. And that's because I go the extra mile for her. I give her everything she needs and everything she wants. And what has become of the financial record? Bro, we're talking about serious commitment. So, you believe those uh, four girls represent commitment? Hmm? <laughs> Look, Beverly and I know exactly what we're in. Fun. Just fun. Nothing less. As far as I'm concerned, a relationship should be a 50-50 thing. No one feels bad. No one gets hot at the end of the day. Then I, I guess you're not thinking in my direction. Hmm. Well, as far as it's not within the context of those uh, four girls, I'm just here to have fun before I get married. Get married? Oh, so you are also thinking towards marriage. Well, I am not a reverend father, am I? Dave, I am in trouble. You know, first, I thought I was only being a philandera. You know, a Casanova. <laughs> the, the idea was so sweet and I loved it. You know, no, no, no emotions involved. But right now, I. I I don't think I can allow Audrey to slide up from me just like that. I, 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 I don't know, man. My head is messed up. I, I tell me. So what are you doing? Because your thought sounds are rather imperceptible. Exactly, bro. See, I am in love. Seriously, I am in love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. But look, bro, that is impossibility sitting right in front of you, and you're just about to sit on it. Let me know. Wait. Hi. Hi. Um, I... I got you this. And I went as far as cresting your name here. It's beautiful, right? And what am I supposed to do with it? Um, Audrey. Listen, I... I, I just... Listen, listen. This was not our agreement. Our agreements are supposed to be based on appointment, not to be exchanging gifts. We're supposed to be having fun. I just think it's right. I do what is right in the sight of the Almighty. And who made you judge of what is right or what is wrong? Look, Andy. Life is meant to be fun. It's meant to be exciting. We're supposed to have fun without no regrets. Listen, I have been enjoying every single bit of my life since I was 18. And I don't need any blood-sucking, cold-hearted man to come and ruin it for me. What more can you offer me that I cannot get from my friends? Nothing. So please and please, I'll advise that you take your flower or whatever it is you have up in your head to another woman who knows you might be lucky because we women are tired of men like you especially when it's 
starts with a cheap flower like this. Don't I, I, I love this. I love this. <laughs> Baby, you're too much. I thought you were going to pour my hand, though. Pour your hand. I so, I'm drawn to the language that love is speaking right now. I am so proud of you. See, let me that have relationship experience. Tell me about the qualifying flavor you got. 95% research proves that it kills faster than HIV and women are always the victim. Wow. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. You mean that you have fallen in love before? That was way back in high school. It was not so rosy. <laughs> that boy showed me Pepe. I got admitted at the hospital. Do you know I almost committed suicide because he breaks my heart? Since then, I decided to spell the word love from the last word. You mean E V O L? Mm -hmm. Evolve. Yeah. What does that mean? The same question I kept asking myself. I mean, why did he leave? Why did he break my heart? Why did he lie to me? I mean, if the word love meant so much to him, why spell it backward when it practically meant nothing? Nothing. I'm, I'm confused here. <sighs> we have each other. Yeah? We are the true definition of real love. True love. We got each other's backs. We are always there for each other. We are living our lives to the fullest. This right here is true happiness. And no man will ever separate us. Alora spins this. <laughs> no man. No man. <laughs> Thanks for the treat. I, mm -hmm. I really had fun. Well, you should accomplish my life. No. You prove that you're a man and you are equal to the task. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I mean, what is it? Oh, your card. Okay. If I forgot. Ah, well, my money is your money. I can spend it as you like. I can even give you an extra card if you want. Really? Yes. So I can keep it. Can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Just. I'm not in the mood for this. Not to worry, when I get in the mood, I'll let you know. But for now, I don't want to get in the mood of screaming, sweating, scattering everywhere. You know how crazy I can be. It's not music. I know. No! Oh, shut up. 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 You want to turn around for me? No. A little bit. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. Five minutes, I promise I'll be very fast. I said back. no. Come. Bye. <laughs> Just go. And I'll, I'll throw the card so you can do this as well. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, actually, <laughs> what? Great. You're not even dressed yet? I told you this babe is starting to disconnect. I told you! I'm sorry, girls. I was about to take a shower when. Um... Yeah, when Andy engrossed you with his boring love calls. What can that guy offer you that we, your sisters, cannot? What? Huh? Fifi. Calm down. Don't ask me to calm down. This baby is starting to piss me off. See, the infant is almost over. And she lied to us and tell us that her Pick car has a problem. I didn't lie to you. My car has a problem. And did that stop you from getting dressed? Why aren't you dressed? See, this baby is wasting her time. Let's get out of here. Fifi. What? Remember rule number three? You don't walk out on a sister who is obviously unhappy. Does this chick look unhappy to you? 
Does she look unhappy? See, I'm not gonna sit here and let you two ruin my night. Why me? Fifi! Erica. Think of how your foot can be. I I feel it. I feel it. I, I don't know how it happened, but I'm in love. No. This can't be happening. You're not supposed to fall for him. You're not supposed to let any man come in between us. This isn't man-made. This is a natural feeling. I, I can't hold nature. Of course you can hold and control yourself and not blame it on nature. Erica, we are women. We have our time. You cannot betray the Alua Spencers because of one crazy nostalgic feeling about one crazy, unserious dude. I saw it in his eyes. He wants me. He's always had you. Oh, please. That was just a mere coquetry of which I initiated. It was just one of our amorous desires to satisfy our selfish needs. This is crazy, Audrey. Crazy? No. No. I heard everyone call it. No. No. Oh, oh my good Lord. I'm in love. It feels so good. Seriously, Dave, if you think that's the wise thing for you to do, no problems. I will not stop you. Because uh, for me, it is Audrey or no one else. Yeah, Audrey and no one else. Hmm. Are you hypnotized? Hypno what? Hypnotized? Like your head? No. <laughs> I mean, far from that. You sure? Mm -hmm. So, why are you acting like she's the only fish in the river? <sighs> hmm? Exactly the same reason I asked myself. I mean, why this particular fish? Maybe she put some cognomy. No, no, I, I, I'm serious. Yeah. See, bro, I am so into her that I refuse to notice another. Is this also what you feel for Beverly? Beverly? Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Far from that. I don't know. No. Oh, well, the way things are going. You know what? Don't ask me such questions, okay? Are you, are you in love with Beverly too? I need more drink. <laughs> See? Sweethearts. I have no intentions of breaking your hearts. But I guess I'm the only one here who has never fallen in love before. I'm the only one who has never had any experience about love. I would really like to experience what it feels like to be loved. Who knows? My experience might not be as bad as yours. So I would love to try it out. Look, being in love is to have divided attention. Look, men that are in serious committed relationship are always very demanding and very, very possessive. Just look at how distracted we've all been this past couple of weeks. Girls, you know all the single ladies out there, the working class ladies, even the so-called married women look up to us as their role models. So how do we prove to the world that our strength does not lie in our weaknesses and we don't allow any proposal from any deadbeat guy? How? Audrey, this thing called love is no film chick. Are you really sure you love him? Yes, I love him. Lies. Beautiful lies. What do you know about love? Of course I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. If Audrey leaves, our trust is broken. 
But I suggest we let her go and experience what she feels. Trust me, any man that sees a woman nakedness several times barely know how to use the word I'm in love with you. Go and try it. You better know what you're doing. Welcome. Welcome, please. Dinner will be served in 15. Um, but before then, I would want us to enjoy this fine one together. And what made you think that I'm hungry? Uh, I've got not just food, but drinks too. So. Hey, did I tell you that I lack any of the brands? Audrey, I, I know you don't lack any of the brands. But please, I want you to make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Don't tell me I left my beautiful job, my never boring friend, just to come here, sit down, and have dinner. Wait a minute. Is that it? Uh, okay. Uh, maybe. I, I mean, partly. But see, Audrey, I, I don't want to bring you down to what you're used to. I mean... What? Your presence just made my day perfect. <laughs> so, um... Where do you think this is going to lead us to? Well, I think I have an idea. Don't lie to me. Okay, I... I'm just being optimistic. That's... That someday you come to love me just as I have soaked myself into you. Men and their sugar coated. Okay, I'm serious. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just be honest. Keep loving me. And most importantly, be creative. Like, <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> I've never been this happy. Yeah, me too. It's... It's... It's just like we just met. Thank you for the treats and thank you for loving me. You're welcome. Come, um, uh, Jessica, what is it? I hope you're not trying to waste my time with all those your family drama and bullshit. You know what? Um, let me call you. Hey, um, Snick Girl. Are you back in the jungle? You're done biting all the men in the jungle, but now you want to come back and bite me. Nah. 
think it's over, okay? Yeah, it's over between you and I. Don't, don't, don't call my phone again, okay? Can you, can you do that? Yeah, don't call my phone again. Thank you. Hey, Beverly. How are you? I touch you whenever I'm gonna call. Oh, I lost Spence that spot. I'll be there. Okay, see you then. Yeah, thanks for calling. Thank you. Can you shut it Hello? Hello, Audrey? Where are you? Oh. It's Tasha's birthday party and we're having men fighting at a private beach. It's like an all girls thing, believe me. Some girls are already naked, though. Babe, don't dog. You better start coming. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So, how about um, Bev and Fifi? No, they're here. They're here. They're busy popping something and rocking everything. Come! Okay, um, let me just take a shower and then... I'll be with you soon. Please hurry, hurry, hurry. And I've got your gate pass with me, so just judge safely. I love you. Bye, 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 bye. Right, I'll see you soon. I'm scared of it. it's me, Dave. Like what you see? Huh? How did you gain here? Who allowed you here? I mean, who would let me in with a pretty face like this and some boobs and glass? Let me in now. Please, please. Hey, please, don't. Please. But this is ridiculous, Dave. You shouldn't have done this. What is this? I'm in love with you, okay? And these are the things that one would do for love. What stupid love are you took me? He's in love with me. Look, this was strictly Andy's idea, okay? He put me up to this. I didn't I didn't plan this myself. So Andy bought you on that's No. No, he didn't. I I I bought this myself. What's All of this. What's with that? You know I love you. Bev, 
Why don't you just give you and I a chance? Let us experience real love as real lovers. Hey, look, I, I know I'm expressing my love in the craziest of ways, but it feels like I am stuck and I cannot even move. Let me love you. And I swear to God, eh, you would see creativity in love. I don't mind putting a, a pole in the room and talking for you, strip dancing with Jishri. You see my ass in two parts. You, you are the... joking! <laughs>
Thank you for bringing them home. You're a really nice guy. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Well, anything for Beverly and her friends. That includes you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. They must have really parted hard. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the whole gist in the morning. <laughs> Uh, the the we parted so 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 hard. The party was fun. Oh. Love pretty girls, mm. sexy, all in white dress. <laughs> oh, shaking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. I must have missed. Yeah. You missed a lot. I <laughs> can <whole> imagine. <laughs> yeah. But wait a minute. How did you know the party was strictly for girls? You mean the the party? Yeah. The party. Yes. It was an all white art. You know, I, I mean, um, yeah, Beverly. Beverly called me, you know, on the phone talking for hours, and then, you know, she, she told me she was bored, lonely, and she was missing me. <laughs> so I had to oh. come in there and save a life. <laughs> uh, oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, anyways, thank you for bringing them home. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Don't mention. Well, I, I have to get going, you know, it's already, uh, ah, look, it's morning. <laughs> yes, it's morning. Yes. All right, good night. Okay. Hi. Good to see you. I'm Dave. Yeah. Um, you've got something behind you. Oh, yeah, I know, my shorts, uh, designers. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, <laughs> for the girls. <laughs> Yeah. I don't do such stuff. Yeah, I know, for the girls. Yes. <laughs> I know. I'll show you the photo. Yeah, we'll fix it. Right, yeah, good, um, good morning. Morning. Yeah. yeah. Bye. All right. Let's call I will. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of them. Thank you. Yeah. Where do I start from? <laughs> I just want to thank you for the other day. Don't mention, baby. Thank you for taking us home. Mm. To think that robbers came and attacked the other girls at the beach party when you took us away. You know, I, 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 I just realized that God sent you to save us. Thank you. Did you just say robbers raped and robbed the girls? Yeah. I wish I was there. Just... Should I pull the other girls out and take them away? No. What about Tasha, the birthday girl? Was she... Tasha is fine. She was just robbed. I, I still want to thank you. To say that I was angry with you for budging into the party uninvited. But I, I later realized that it was God that sent you to save us. You're my hero. Did you just call me your hero? Like your hero, hero, like your man, hero. Yeah, you're my everything. Let me take that over. I. I believe time and chance happens for a reason that in this case I was brought there for you. Audrey, please just say yes and the whole world will be ours. Audrey, my heart beats for you. Will you marry me? Please. Marry me, Beverly. I've been sitting down here looking at you and thinking about us. You complete me, we complete each other. We're like a perfect combination. Just marry me and let me be your husband. Dave, honestly, I, I think this is too sudden. 
I'm confused. See, I don't even know what to say. I, I, Serious. Which thing? Which thing? Huh? She say yes to me. Audrey? Beverly? What's going on? It's official. I finally joined the race. What stupid race are you talking about? Well, the race that clearly differentiates me from being Miss... Mrs. How dare you accept his proposal? And how dare you touch hey, me? You I will no. do whatever I want to do. It's my life. Enough! This will not get us anywhere. Stop! Brandon will definitely terminate this newly signed contract as ambassadors for Orange Heart, which accolades as the four best princes in Africa. You see, when it comes to love, no one cares. I've been in this friendship hood for 11 good years of my life and are you guys trying to say that we'll stay single for the rest of our lives? Mm -hmm. Answer me. I know today is one day we fear so much to witness, but it was inevitably going to come up someday. So it's better we face it. Just speak for yourself, Beverly. Because as far as I'm concerned, Audrey is going to be I am not hey, going to be hey, hey, hey. It's too late. Because I'm also engaged. You did what? I said yes. That is all your fault! That is all your fault and you know that, Audrey! Listen, Fifi. There is something I want you to know. You are someone's reed. And one day, someday, you will finally open up to love again and you will let someone love you. You will forget about all the past and all the hurts. And that someone will be special. And he will realize that to hurt you is to hurt himself. Exactly. Think about it. You two make me sick. My question is, what's so special about us at our Spencers? I mean, it's not as if you girls have lived the best of life as singles. Look, Fifi, we can repackage the whole idea and create something meaningful from it. I'm free for prospective endorsement is something. Look, Tasha, if you know you have nothing reasonable to say, I suggest you shut up. Can you imagine? I just can't believe we lost out on such a huge endorsement deal. I really don't. The opportunity to be on each and every center spread magazine and newspaper as Africa's hottest spinsters. So, all this took a bad turn because Beverly and Audrey decided to be married. We are then done with what? Tasha, be very careful with your words. So, what happened next? You leave. This kinship can no longer accommodate a loquacious spinster like you, so get out before we embarrass you. Get out! Fine. I'll leave. I've always known that this whole idea was only a joke. Besides, I was only there for the money. Get out! Excuse me. Oh, 
Fumo, como e candu, como e funai, vava guarda chuva, como la fumo, como e candu, como e funai, vava guarda chuva, so make you give me your head, make you give me your heart, I will take you as my. Oh, yeah. It means so much to me. At least I know I have one real sister who's got my back. Anytime, babe. Any day. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy we're here. Damn, I love America. Oh. It's so calm, chill, peaceful, and fun. Yeah. Oh my god. But there's definitely no place like Nigeria, sure. Yeah, it's a place like home. <laughs> well, we're gonna kill Miami now. I'm sticky. Well, I'm gonna take a shower. Okay. I'm here for the champagne now. Oh, it's nice. He's popping champagne. Woo! America is going to be lit. <laughs> Audrey, baby, how are you? What was that about? It's Audrey. So? Is she the one feeding you? Look, I don't ever want to see you talk to those girls again. That Audrey and the stupid Beverly. I'm so mad at those girls right now. What's wrong with you? Wait. So you're actually still angry at them for getting married? <sighs> Fifi, let me ask you a question. Do you really think that this spinster life of ours is going to last forever? This is what we live for. Together forever. Having each other's back. That's why I'm so mad at those girls for betraying our friendship. But it's their choice. A Fifi. choice that has cost us our happiness. A choice that has cost us an endorsement deal worth millions of dollars. Because I can never forgive them for that. Never. Not even in my grave. Choice. If you touch this phone, I swear I'll break it. What's wrong with you? Marriage. Think they're happy. Hello? Uh, hello, uh, it's me, Brian. Brian, how are you? I'm good. And you? I'm okay. I'm so sorry for not keeping in touch since I landed. It's been pretty hectic. I've been so preoccupied. I'm not even angry. Okay, that's good. What's up? <sighs> Baby? Do you um, remember the lengthy conversation we used to have while you were around? Where we talked about how many kids we wanted and how we're going to travel around the world together. Yeah, I remember. I just feel there's no way we can achieve that if we continue dating and having casual sex. So. So? Um, so I. I summon up courage, you know, to ask you to be my wife. Hello, baby. Baby. Baby, are you there? I'm here. Hi. Brian, I don't know what to say. Just say yes. Brian. Isn't this coming too soon? We've just met. We haven't even dated that long. But nothing changes. We'll get married and we'll continue dating. Is that even feasible? It's very possible. And I promise you, it's going to be beautiful. See, Erica, I am on my knees right now. Right? I know you can't see me, but I'm on my knees. Here's Erica. Please. Will you be my wife? 
You know what? Yeah. Yes, Brian, I'll marry you. What? How could you? How could you bring me all the way to America to mock me? Don't touch me! Guess what, Eric? I asked her to marry me, and she gave me a sounding yes that was echoing like endlessly. <laughs> I told you I was going to marry one of the lost sisters. You were doubting me. <laughs> Come on, see, meet me up at Fancy Bar, all right? This calls for celebration. <laughs> all right, I'm chilling for you. <laughs> Woo! Mm. I thought you were different. But it just occurred to me that I am all alone. To hell with Audrey, to hell with Beverly, to hell with you. Fifi, try being understanding and realistic just this once. We didn't plan this, it just happened. This is a mere rediscovery of who we truly are and why God created us as women. Fifi Tam was never created to favor us. And with the competition of so many beautiful, youthful ladies out there, you take every chance you get. Fifi, let go of this exorbitant, youthful, useless lifestyle. Open your heart, Fifi. Open your heart and receive love. This can end here. And ever since then, I haven't set my eyes on Fifi again. I've tried calling her cell phone several times, but keep saying such Oh, do you guys know that I have even sent her lengthy mails four good times to her email? No reply. I beg, I beg. Let's not let her case bother us at all. I mean, we have our own families to worry about. We're True. responsible wives. True. And we have every right to celebrate the fact that we married the men of our dreams. You're right. All thanks to Audrey. Who saw the signs first? Getting married gives you this peace of mind. I'm so happy to be married. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there are relatively few things to worry about. You know, sex is available in abundance. Mm -hmm. You don't have to hide or feel guilty that you're committing sin. And seriously, being married opened my eyes to so many things in the world. I'm more respected in the office, and I enjoy every bit of being addressed as Miss. <laughs> Erica <laughs> Brian Asingwe. <laughs> and my ears extend like that of the Fennec Force whenever I hear the whisper of Mrs. Beverly Aaron. I feel so happy. <laughs> and I don't even have to bother about what the society thinks about reckless ministers. You know, this this good sex and then his stuff just mm, feels Ooh, really good. Okay. Well, like, like talking back, pop, champagne, sports girls. Cheers, girls. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Hello, Andy. Good day. Good day. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Sorry. Do I know you? Well, you'll be an intelligent wizard if you do. But let's just stick to the fact that I'm a friend to your wife. You can call me Lucy. Lucy? Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. Uh, sorry. Hold on a second. Uh, my wife Audrey didn't mention anyone like... Like me from and right. Look, Andy, we really have to cut down the acquaintances and get straight down to business. Um, sorry, just hold on. <sighs> Look, no exchange of contacts. This moment. No emotions involved. I've gotta say how beautiful <laughs> you are. I promise, you will never ever see me again. All the hopes and dreams I could have prayed for. <sighs> My, 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 my wife. I forever. I will take you by the hand. 
Tonight it's you and I together. I'm so glad I'm your man. Thanks for the treat, and thank you for the ride too. You're welcome. But I'm afraid, um, your time is up. <laughs> How do you mean my time is up? We started with an anti-climax. <laughs> Who truly are you? Look, this is supposed to be a once in a lifetime memory. Yeah. Oh God, Paul, I feel so terrible, alright? I just cheated on my wife with a woman I know nothing about. Well then, I suggest you leave it that way. So you don't get your cables bonded. <laughs> the deed is done and it's up to the heavens to judge us. Who are you truly? <laughs> the myth in between the misses. <laughs> Lucy! Lucy! Wait, what's up? Am I tired? Okay, come here. Hey! What's going on? Why is everyone sober like somebody died? Andy! Beverly! Audrey! Erica. These photos were sent to Audrey this morning. Apparently, it appears Andy here cheated. But I think it's about Photoshop. Hell no! Those pictures were not photoshopped. He cheated on me! Listen, this marriage uh, is over! Audrey, listen, I. I, I... Oh, shut up! Lies! Anybody? I let me let me get the girl. How could he cheat on me? No way. I will not take it. I will not take this from any man. Not in this life. I will never take it. It's my resolve. Okay. I I think the same unknown stranger that is going round dispatching fake news has just dropped in another time bomb. Time bomb? How do you mean? It appears I am not the only one on her blackmailing list. This envelopes here are addressed to Erika and Bedley. So I guess we're finally back to where it all began. I thought marriage was supposed to be for better or for worse. Well, that's, um, that saying is not applicable in this generation. It is for better. I just can't believe that he cheated on me. I'm so sorry you had to experience your first heartbreak this way. Now you know why women say men will never ever practice to be different. But well, girls, don't you think this whole thing 
could be premeditated? One lady, three married men that are friends. I think if we start investigating the reason behind this blackmail, we might just come up with something comprehensive that might just heal our broken heart and make us happy again. Let's just be wise. True. But I am never, ever going to fall in love again. Seriously, I mean, good friends are better than wedding bands. So you can say that again. Harashika. The queen from the devil is here. Look at her, the homebreaker. <laughs> Audrey, are you sure this is where she entered? I am very, very sure. This is Wait a minute. I thought I specifically asked you not to go in any public places. Now look what you've done. You've ruined everything. I'm sorry, ma'am. I was only going to meet up with the clients. I just hope they didn't follow you here. Anyways, this used to be their house. I'm sure they'll be back. It would not be a bad idea if it all ends where it all started. We sold this house and gave the proceeds to charity. How could she be connected to the new occupants of the house? This whole thing doesn't make any sense to me at all. This place reminds me of my vulnerability and my wasteful years. Going back into this house only will remind me of my past. And if we don't put an end to this lingering past, it will bring more damage to our future. Whatever it is, let's go in the it. Ah, look what we have here. The Aloha sisters are back. This calls for celebration. I was expecting you, ladies. <laughs> so it's been you all along? Okay, you come down. Just tell her to calm down. She's the one that caused us so much pain. I did. Vivi, why? Why did you choose to break our homes? Why? It was for retaliation. For abandoning me and making a mockery of me. For leading me to the half path of happiness. <laughs> I knew your marriages weren't going to work. I knew it. Your husbands were ruled by the sin of the skin. Lust, desperation to keep you ladies forever bondage in those chains called wedlock. But hey, I have a forgiving heart. You ladies are my only source of joy. So Erica, Beverly, Audrey, Lucy, I want us to come back together. I promise you, this time, our fame is going global. <laughs> what do you think? This is madness! This is madness! So you think that you can remote us and play song us like a lullaby? This madness has got to stop. It has got to stop right now! Besides, even if I decide to be single again, I would never wish or pray to be in your company. The storm is volatile and predominantly unpredictable. I may look normal, I may not talk too much, but I always get what I want. Enough! Enough of all of this! I can clearly see how shattered and demented your heart has become. Guys, only remedy through all of this is love and peace. Let's turn the other cheek. I think we're done here. No! I let you girls make your choices. You made the mistakes. I expected you to have learned from it, but now you're here accusing me instead? You should be grateful! Wow. Okay. Three against two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Good choice. Now it's. Four against one. We are done. Hi. Hi.
Have a good life. Erica! Audrey! Beverly! Lucy! No! No! Oh my god! Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we beseech you today. Asking that you forgive us of all our sins. Wash our hearts, Lord. Cleanse us with the precious blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, all we are asking for is a perfect remission. Yes, Lord. Father, we are your sons. Yes, Lord. Bring our wives back home to us. Please, please. The wives that you gave us, oh, please, not God. the wives that the devil gave us. Yes. The one that you gave us, bring them back to us. Yes, Lord. We are not complete without them. Yes. Mm -hmm. In our imperfection, oh, in our incomplete. Yes, in our sinfulness, oh, mm. Father Lord, we come to you in humility that the asking that you yes, bring Lord. our wives yes, back Lord. to us. Yes. We will not sin again. Oh. We will not commit adultery again. Oh. For the case of Nunko, we will not mm. do it again. Mm. Mm. Father Lord, forgive us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Baby, you wanna sample me? You said you wanna sample me. Wanna sample me? Sample me, oh eh. Wanna sample me? Baby, you wanna sample me? Oh eh. I give me that. I thought you just catch. She won't give me that. She won't give me that. The baby civilized. I roll like Costa, like a Nicki Minaj. There's something wrong with your baby. This time around, I don't think he's ready. If she's wanting something, I'm ready. Don't be greedy, my brother. Let that thing come around. She likes it. She wants it. She likes it. She wants it. She likes it. She wants it. She says, "Wanna sample me? Sample me? Sample me, oh baby. Wanna sample me? Baby, wanna sample me?"